Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic, debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. Now, I know that this topic may seem a bit harsh to some of you guys. I want to quickly say this. This is my disclaimer. I mean every single word I'm going to say in this video. Every single word that I say, I mean it. Just yesterday, I watched the first half. I didn't watch the entire game. I watched the first half between the New York Knicks and the Los Angeles Lakers. As I was watching that game, my expectations going into that game was this. I expected, given the fact that LeBron James was suspended for one game, Given the fact that, you know, um, you know, the Lakers were kind of surrounded, admired in drama over the last 48 hours, I was expecting that Anthony Davis was going to come out and really make a statement and say, listen, you know what, LeBron James, we're going to hold down the fort because I'm here. You got another top 75 player that you can rely on. I'm going to hold it down while you're gone. Just the, yesterday. Anthony Davis was, was, was in the press conference talking about, yeah, we're not going to let anybody do this to our brother. Nobody's going to run up on our brother and blah, 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 whatever, right? It seems as if Anthony Davis was more prepared to go fight on a basketball court than actually play winning basketball. Last night, again, Anthony Davis was not a difference maker. And I want to go back to, I want to go to, I want to go back two years ago when the Lakers initially acquired Anthony Davis. I said at the time that I think he was not the player that the Lakers needed to lead them into the future. People were only looking at talent. I was also looking at his track record and I was looking at his intangibles. Okay, that's what I was looking at. But at the time, the Lakers were thinking of a star that they wanted to pair alongside LeBron James to win an NBA championship, which is ultimately something that they were able to accomplish. But I, so I understood their decision from that standpoint. But I knew, but there were things about Anthony Davis that gave me pause. First of all, he never had any real success without LeBron James. When you looked at him, when you looked at him with the New Orleans Pelicans, essentially what he looked like is exactly what he looks like with the Lakers right now without LeBron James. Just a mediocre team. Just another mediocre team, number one. Number two, the other thing that gave me pause, uh, made me concerned about Anthony Davis joining the Lakers was just how eager he was to join the Lakers and play with LeBron James. He was too eager, which gave me the sense that Anthony Davis was 100% a follower. He, he, he gives me the follower vibes. He loved the idea of being in LeBron James's shadow or, or being his number two. And I just didn't think that's the type of mentality you needed to have as a player, as a franchise player, to lead this particular franchise. If you go back to the Shaq and Kobe Lakers, they were fighting. They were jostling. This is the word that's been floating all over the media over the last 48 hours. They were jostling for the number one spot on that team. These were two alpha males wanting to prove that they deserve to be the dominant player on that team. And because of that, they had friction. Kobe was not content being Shaq's sidekick. And Shaq wanted to make it clear to Kobe that you are my sidekick and Kobe wasn't having it. Both of these guys were out for males. And that's the reason why the Lakers were able to win serious championships with those guys. Between Shaq and Kobe, that the Lakers organization captured five NBA championships. In the case of Anthony Davis, he can't wait to be ro uh, Robin to LeBron James Batman. He cannot wait. He looks so happy to be playing with LeBron James. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with wanting to be the team, wanting to be a teammate of LeBron James, but that's not the type of mentality you need to lead the Los Angeles Lakers. A lot of people back then, they thought I was being too critical. They thought I was being a hater of Anthony Davis. One of the reasons two seasons ago, I felt that the Clippers had a chance to beat AD, even though they were undersized with Montrezl Harrell, was because I knew that Montrezl Harrell and these guys would be able to rough him up. He's a finesse big. And the way you play has a lot to do with your mentality. If you look at Giannis Antetokounmpo, Giannis plays with so much more force than AD. Giannis is just a mentally more aggressive basketball player. AD is not. AD is not. And at this point, in the absence of LeBron James, AD has so shown zero signs of being a leader. He doesn't inspire anyone. And he, it just seems as if he's there to... He's, he's like along for the ride with, uh, with LeBron James. He inspires no one. Even if you listen to some of his post-game com comments, he's not really saying anything. He's not really getting on guys. 
he's not really stepping up to the plate. Even when Kobe Bryant was on the Los Angeles Lakers and he was the most, you know, the much younger player on that on that team, which was full of veterans, Kobe would make his voice known. AD, I don't get that sense from him. Last night against the New York Knicks, he couldn't even take over the game. I'm not even I'm not even gonna go, go, go to the game stats. He couldn't even put his imprint on that game. You are clearly the best basketball player on the court last night. And no one would have known that by watching that game. He was just another all-star on the court. And to me, that is inexcusable. It is inexcusable because he is supposed to be the player that is supposed to be leading this franchise into the future. Is this the guy that Laker, Laker fans or whatever expect to lead them into the future? A guy that can barely gut out a win against the New York Knicks without LeBron James? Currently, as we speak, the Lakers are one game under 500 on, uh, uh, you know, under Anthony Davis's watch, on Anthony Davis's watch. To me, that is inexcusable. The Lakers have way too much talent to be a below 500 team. There's no excuse for that. If you look at, if you look at Paul George across the hallway, he has the Clippers two games above 500 and both Anthony Davis and uh, uh, Paul George are playing in the same conference. They're playing in the same conference. They're playing against virtually the same teams. But Paul George is playing at a high level and he has his team doing well. And he is not playing with another player that is remotely close, or that, has, that, that has remotely the same amount of talent as Russell Westbrook. Name the player on the Clippers that is active right now that has nearly as much talent uh, uh, you know, or as clout as Russell Westbrook. There's no one. The fact of the matter is this. Uh, Paul George is doing more with less than Anthony Davis is. This is just the reality. But I've always known this about him. Look at when he was with the New Orleans uh, Pelicans. When he was playing with Drew Holiday. What did they accomplish? I think they made it to the second round. Look at what Giannis was able to accomplish with Drew Holiday. They won, they won an NBA championship. Now, did Giannis put Drew? No. But it just shows you the difference a caliber of player can make in, uh, in, in pursuit of an NBA championship. I don't believe he is the guy. I think Anthony Davis is a follower. And I think he's happy being a follower of LeBron James. That's what I think. And I think once LeBron retires, whenever that is, if it's next year, the year after, the Lakers are going to really have to sit down and figure out who's going to be the player to lead us into the future because it's not just about skill. It is not about skill. We're talking about leadership. A player that can lead that also has skills like a Giannis Antetokounmpo like a LeBron James, like a Kawhi Leonard, these caliber of play, like a Stephen Curry, these type of players, there's select few in the NBA. And unfortunately for Laker fans, Anthony Davis is not one of them. And I've been saying this for two years. I am not surprised at any of the things that I'm seeing from Anthony Davis because I didn't expect much to begin with. Really, I didn't. I'm getting exactly what I expected. Given the expectations that this team has this season, there's no reason for this team to be floundering and you have an, and you have a healthy Anthony Davis on the roster. This is just my opinion. So what I want to know from you guys is what do you think? What do you think about Anthony Davis and his leadership uh, and his leadership ability with the Los, with, with this Los Angeles? Do you think he deserves more blame given the fact that he's playing with so much talent? Uh, on the Los Angeles Lakers. Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day and catch you guys on the next episode.